Hi everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I wanna show you how to clean up space in your network box by making custom linked patch cable. And remember, hit subscribe, it's really important and it's free. Okay, as you can see, this is our patch cable we're gonna replace with a custom length. We're gonna get rid of all this. We're just gonna go from here to here. So what we need to do is we need to measure that distance. We'll use a tape for that and it looks like it's about 10 inches. So we'll add two more inches to give it some slack. So it's not gonna be super tight. We don't want it to be tight because it may pull out. Uh, we don't want it to cause any tension on these, on these ends. So we'll make it 12 inches. Next thing we need to do is measure for the ring link power kit, which is down here. As you can see, we have extra cable. So we're gonna get rid of this and make a custom link patch cable. Now I can't use tape measure because it's not gonna work. We have some twists here. So I decided to use is a string. We'll start at the top. Measure from here, right here, and then we'll bring it down and round it down to the bottom here, to the bottom. And that way it gives us a length. And once again, this is our length. Looks like from here to here. We can always add another inch if we need to. Just We're gonna use 23 gauge Cat6 riser cable to make our two custom patch cables. Let's go ahead and cut our two cables to the length needed. There are three important reasons to keep your patch cables as short as possible. The first reason is it frees up space to allow for more devices to be installed in your network box. The second reason is it will keep your devices cooler by allowing more air to circulate. And the third reason is it just looks better having the cables at the correct length. Looks nice and clean. So strip both ends of the wires back about a half an inch. Next, use the string to get the correct length for the second cable. Once again, strip both ends of the wire back about a half an inch. Next, go ahead and separate the four pairs. Now go ahead and cut the string off. Next, untwist all four pairs. Next, organize the wires into the T568B configuration from left to right. Next, cut the wires straight across. There we go, perfect. Add two boots before you connect the RJ45. Now go ahead and slide the wires into the RJ45 connector like that. Use the crimping tool to secure the RJ45 connector. To save time, I'm only gonna show you how to make one cable because the process is the same for both cables. I am using the Easy RJ45 connector as well as the Easy crimping tool. If you're new to making these patch cables, I would recommend both of these. Done. Now let's install both of the cables. This is probably the easiest part of the process, just pulling out the old cable and putting in the new. Looks better already. Okay, we're all done, and remember to give a thumbs up and share this video, and hit subscribe, it's completely free. Thanks for watching.